Okay. Okay. This is Jennifer, y'all. This is my friend I've been telling y'all about. She's the one that worked with me and stuff. Remember, I was telling y'all. It's my video now. It's yeah. my video now. Okay, be quiet. This is her, so y'all get to see her finally. Like, buddy, yay. Okay, this is her. She okay. always with me, okay? My camera time. So now. just remember. Oh, sh shut up. Okay. Okay, tell me. Hi, my name is Jennifer. She's already said, you know, I want to formally introduce myself. Okay, no, but be for real. Um,. I know that there's a lot of people out there who either have siblings or spouses or friends or know people out there that have sickle cell. And for those people, you know, I'm like one of you. I personally, I don't, I can't really say what it feels like to be in their shoes because that's unimaginable, you know, the pain and everything, but what I can say is, you know, for those people who do believe in God and have, you know, faith from him, you know, that's what sustains me a lot of times being in situations where I'm watching her lay in a hospital bed being mistreated and, you know, I'm like, okay, what am I supposed to do? You know, sometimes you feel like prayer isn't enough because you're in those situations. You just got to be real, okay? You know, I'm praying, but she's still crying in agony. And, you know, I can't make these nurses do what I want them to do all the time, you know? But, you know, I just trust God, you know, beyond what I think in my head and, you know, when those thoughts come in my mind that, you know, you can't do anything, you know, you're weak. I sit there and I do all that I can do. All you can do is do what you can. You can't do any more than that. You can't feel like, well, you're not doing enough because you don't know with the little that you think you're doing how it's affecting that person. And I know a lot of times I felt like, you know, you're not doing nothing. I mean, all you're doing is going in the kitchen and getting a Gatorade, you know. But that right there is so powerful for Camson. I mean, because a lot of times when I'm not able to be around her, she struggles just to get out of the bed, just to go to the kitchen and get that Gatorade. Or to go and make a bowl of cereal. I mean, it's painful for her a lot of times. I mean, she can't even get up. I mean, her whole body will go through a crisis that, you know, she can't do anything about. But pray and ask God, you know, to sustain her, you know, throughout her day. So I would just want to encourage you with that and just know that just doing what you can and just having the love and compassion that you do for that person is more than enough because I can tell you firsthand, just witnessing myself, there's not a lot of people out there right now that have just that little ounce right there that you have. And if we just could gather that together and spread it, you know, not just on YouTube, but actually go and do something about this. Maybe those people who doubt people like Campson, you know, doubt their illness is real. We can actually cause those people's minds to change. Thank you. Okay. Say bye to you. Bye. <laughs>